Yo, so what's going on boys and girls? My name is Pwn and I am here giving you guys some competitive gameplay. We're doing a few scrims right now. And I want to talk to you guys about a professional YouTube team. Now, you guys are like, what do you mean, right? And uh, it looks like there are a bunch of us YouTubers that are trying to get together uh, with a little bit of competitive background, um, some of which are, some of them are just uh, standard pub stompers. And we're trying to get us together and create some content in preparations for Black Ops 2. So, without further ado, enjoy the gameplay. I'm running around with the MP7 on some Arkadin CTF. You got myself, Nade Shot, uh, you got Fear Apoc, and we have Jay Nasty. So this should be an entertaining gameplay for you guys. We do pretty solid, and I plan on posting many more of these. And if you guys would like to listen to some actual listen-ins where we guys where we joke around, have some talk, and listen to our communication, I'd love to be able to post those up at some time. Now I know it's not the most watched thing in the world because there are not too many people to, that uh, you know like cater to it, that teach somebody about pro gaming because most people don't understand it, and most people think it's too slow paced. But in reality, I think the thing that requires the most skill is competitive gameplay. I mean, uh, high-scoring gameplays, Moabs, nukes, that kind of stuff is flashy. It's entertaining from a pub stomps perspective. But in reality, the most impressive type of gameplay you can watch would probably be one in a competitive setting such as this. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that. But I want to ask you a question before we talk a little bit more about this YouTube, uh, you know, pro team kind of, you know, thing going on. Um... I'm going to ask you a serious question. Now, I know there's a lot of things that we all just actually probably do. Like, in seriousness, like, when you open a yogurt or a pudding, you have to lick the lid, right? Now, I want to ask you another one. Like, in all seriousness, I want to ask you this. Uh, in, before you guys unsub or think something's extremely unusual or weird, have you ever used any alternatives besides toilet paper to wipe your ass? Yeah, I just asked that. Um... Basically, you know, you know, I, I, I had a talk with somebody. Somebody thought it was disgusting when I went camping. And again, recently, somebody thought it was disgusting when I went camping and I used, like, leaves. Or, you know, one time when we went camping, we, didn't, we forgot toilet paper. We cut the sleeves off of our shirt, so we used that. And they thought it was weird and disgusting. And I'm like, yo, that's all natural, bro. <laughs> why, why is that weird? And then, you know, we ran out of toilet paper the other day and I had to use, like, baby wipes. And I felt, I felt awkward doing that. That was, uh, as, as seriously as it may be, I mean, that's meant for poo, but... I don't know if that's meant for grown man poo. And I'm talking about shit during a commentary, and you guys are still listening here. That's, that's how you know you're legends. But you're probably just curious where I'm going to go with this. But, you know, I just wanted to ask you guys. Now, most people act like, oh, that's disturbing. But in reality, don't act like you've never seriously ran out of toilet paper and used one of your, like, bath towels or something. You know what I mean? Don't act like you never used a coloring book or your hand. Huh? Come on, guys. Don't act like you never just, you know, used your hand and... You know, ladled it out and then washed your hands shortly thereafter. I mean, it's all good. It's all good. I mean, if no one's there, you know. But honestly, down in the comments below, let me know if you've ever actually used means other than toilet paper to wipe your ass. And I know this is an extremely un unusual comment, but don't be afraid. These people don't know you in real life. You could be honest with me. Just admit that <laughs> you sat on your cat and rubbed your ass dry. I don't care. But everybody, you know, you know, when I when I went camping and you know all my friends are like, oh my god, this is gross. I can't believe you used leaves. What if you got poison ivy on your gooch? And I'm like, whatever. And um, recently I had to use baby wipes and I felt that was awkward. So I guess apparently that's what my commentary topic wanted to be about. But anyways, we're gonna hop right back into it. Probably not the way I wanted to talk about you know getting a YouTube, uh, you know, all pro team together. But as it stands, as of right now, the YouTube team is as follows so far. You've got myself, Optic Nade Shot. J Nasty 720, Exquisite XBL, and Insomulus. We got a pretty decent, solid crew right there. And it's been an experience. It's been something fun. Now, what you guys may or may not know about me is I obviously have not put my tryhard pants in on, on a long time. I've been out of the Call of Duty game for fucking eight, ten months myself. So I'm trying to get my shot back, trying to get um, you know, back to what I used to be able to do. And um what I what I can't wait to do is experience this with these guys, because if you guys are unaware, um competitive should take a new I guess, path in Black Ops 2. They've optimized it for that. They brought in the playlist. They've done so many great things with, um, you know, making competitive more of a, a habit and, you know, issue with Black Ops 2. They're kind of making it more important. And I can't wait to see how that turns out. And I thought, what better than to try to turn in a couple YouTubers into some, you know, all official, pretty solid, you know, professional team. So we decided that we're going to uh, create game battles right now, get the feel for it, learn callouts, um, build up communication and chemistry because above all, you know, we all have damn decent shots. We're all, you know, pretty decent players. But, you know, it's the chemistry and the communication, the callouts is what makes a team a team. And, you know, experience even goes a long way. 
So I can't wait to show you guys what we're capable of. Um, you know, a lot of these guys, you know, I make fun of Exquisite and I make fun of Nasty for being, you know, all these guys that use vests and stuff like that. You know, I make fun of all these guys that do that stuff because I guess in reality it's it's not jealousy, it's not I'm mad at them as people. It's just I know they have potential and it kind of just gets clouded when you force a gameplay because when you run around with other people that do half the work for you, I think that's forcing gameplay. I know how hard it is to get a gameplay in pub, so I understand why they do it. I still think it's a joke. And we laugh about it every fucking game. In between each intermission, somewhere in there is a ballistic vest joke. And, uh, you know, so, so in reality, it's a great thing. I've, um, I think this is Jay Nasty's actual first experience doing competitive. He's actually holding up pretty well. He's, he's not doing half bad. And, you know, we're all kind of getting our feet wet. Obviously, Nade's got a little bit of experience. He's, he's carrying us as of right now. He's got some stuff going down in uh, Exquisite. Um, Hals, he's, he's getting some stuff in there, too. He's been playing around a little bit. He's been... You know, getting together with some of the fear guys and stuff like that. So, I, I really like where this is going. I mean, it needs to be promoted a little more, and I can't wait to see what Black Ops 2 can do with it. You're going to see the ability for people to be a lot more involved in shoutcasting, so on and so forth. I know Wings and some of these other commentators plan on actually talking about it. But what I don't think they'll be bringing to the table is I do not think they'll be bringing actual gameplay. Or you're not going to see some of your standard YouTubers posting this, which is why I want to post up the 100 kill gameplays, which is why I want to post up the objective gameplays, which is also why I want to post competitive stuff, because I think there's a need for that now, and I know most people didn't like watching it during blackouts, because, oh, it's all the FAMAS, people get tired of seeing the same gun, but when it's skill on skill, I mean, it's something that you don't have respect for, I've been seeing nasty tweet, like, my god, competitive is better than pubbing, I mean, it brings in this whole level of craving, I mean, once you've pubbed, and, and you were great at it, you understand how good you are, Pubbing is never the same after you've done competitive because you're playing people on your level. Now, if you've ever experienced this, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. It's not the same thing. It's like going from masturbation to having actual vaginal intercourse. <laughs> Once you've had that vagina, you cannot go back to your old ways. Unless, of course, she's, you know, like pregnant or something. But I would not know anything about that. But anyways, shut up, phone. I'm commentating. I'm talking about poop and stuff and my wife's messaging me right now. I don't know. But uh, anyways, you know, that's just kind of where we're going with it. I can't wait to get that involved. Um, I can't wait to see how some of these YouTubers get together doing this. And I can't wait to see how you guys receive it. Because I know you guys may not think it's as flashy as expected. I know that's a big part of YouTube. But there's going to be a whole new generation of gamers coming in. And I'm not a, a, a lot of people. you got people like Skump and Nade Shot and all these guys that are coming in, doing big on YouTube, getting more and more popular. You're going to have events. You're going to see YouTubers going to these events. You can see some of these YouTubers participating. So as of right now, you're going to have basically this YouTube dream team trying to come together and make a successful game battles team. Try to see what we could do and carry that over into Black Ops 2. And we're going to show you our wins, our losses. Um, there are going to be some gameplays where I, I hope to do some listen-ins where you can hear us communicate and succeed and do stuff like that. But there will also be gameplays where you'll hear or where we'll fail or something like that and I have a horrible like 12 and 23 game. And my goal will be to uh, observe and, and, and commentate over it or to tell you where my faults and flaws were. So hopefully you guys can learn things about nades, tricks, everything like this and we can teach you to not only enjoy and appreciate you know call of duty and what it has to offer but also give you something that most of the other commentators are uh, maybe not able to maybe not even be able to be capable of playing on the level that some of these guys can that our team may be able to do so that's why i think it'll be an exclusive thing why i think it'll be a great thing to watch us do this kind of stuff is because there aren't many other youtubers that can compete on the level that we may be able to offer for you guys so that's why i'm really excited for it is because you're going to be able to see what youtubers can do in a competitive setting because um, as of lately, there's been a lot of hostility, a lot of, you know, YouTubers that underestimate and, you know, don't value competitive gameplay. And then you also see a lot of, um, you know, pro players that just look down on YouTubers and even people like Nate shot recently that have been posting on it. He's, he's been tossing this respect. Like the, he, he tweeted yesterday about the time and effort that we put into videos is crazy. And they, and most, you know, competitive players don't understand that. They think it's just a joke. And, um, I think this is a great way for us to, I guess, unite the two communities and to, to understand that we can both coexist. It's not about competition. It's not about who's best or, you know, I make more money than you. You're just a pro. You can't play with killstreaks. And we can all be good in different situations. 
And I, I, I just, I just want to, I guess, promote it a little more. And hopefully you guys can enjoy the gameplays. If you want to see more of these, just let me know down in the comment. Leave a comment down below like, hey, Paul, you know, I like your Pubstar gameplays. And I wouldn't mind seeing a competitive game player listen in here and there. Or you could say, I don't like this stuff and I understand. I mean, most of the, most of the gameplays when you expect it, it'll say listen in or competitive gameplay or scrim or, you know, optic versus us or something like that. So you'll know what's coming in the title so you can choose to click it or not. But, you know, I just want to create this new... Um, you know, ability to watch competitive gameplay if you want to and keep it entertaining. So some of it will be commentary, some of it will be listening, some of it will be teaching, some of it will be learning. So thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, remember to leave a rating down below. Check out the other guys in the description. And remember, wash your hands.